Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome to the third episode of my Trolling to Titan series. It's been one day since the start of this series. As you guys know, I started from 200 trophies and right now I'm at 2,814 trophies. So I've made 2,614 trophies in just 24 hours. Uh, so yeah, that's much faster than I expected. And uh, this base has won 86 defenses in a row. And uh, I've incurred the first loss today, a few hours ago. And I'll share that raid as well. Uh, but I've also lost nine other defenses. Of course, I won a lot more de uh, defenses. I won 112 uh, defenses with this base and lost only nine. And the reason I'm starting to lose defenses is because uh, I'm in Masters 2, obviously. Attackers are much smarter. They're not going to fall prey uh, to this base. They're more likely to just go for that Town Hall because uh, of that loot bonus. Some players are going to go for the Town Hall. Like the last attacker, he used 93 min minions. And uh, that, that was really weird because uh, not only did he, oh, he also dropped two lightning spells for no apparent reason. I'm not sure why, if he was trying to take out those archer towers or not because he failed. And uh, using 93 minions, that's 930 dark elixir for 93 level 5 minions. And uh, he is attacking from masters too, so he's gonna get 700 dark elixir loot bonus but he actually lost dark elixir he didn't make any profit that's 230 dark elixir lost and uh as you can see from his hero levels level six barbarian king and level seven archer queen uh so it's pretty apparent why he's not being able to uh get as much dark elixir to upgrade them because of his farming method it's really inefficient he's not making profit so hopefully he realizes that and changes his uh, attacking method. Not only that, he also didn't make any gold or elixir. Uh, he did get the loot bonus, but again, he used two rage spells, two lightning, 93 minions. Really not a good farming strategy. You're actually losing more than you're getting. So definitely want to change that uh, buzzer from Hooburger if you're watching this. And then uh, there was another attacker using six lava hounds. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I am gonna change this base because as I promised to you guys that once it loses a raid that I would change it. So I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna try another different base and we're gonna try to get to Titan with that. Probably not the same base because I do want to switch up bases, show you guys uh, all the different styles of bases, uh, troll bases that I like to make. So this guy's using six Lava Hounds and he is gonna fail. Uh, as, as you guys will see he's gonna use the heal spell not really gonna work because there's a multi inferno but he's gonna freeze it and um, with that momentary freeze those lava hounds did get recovered a bit but they're gonna be pulled all the way to the other side because of their defenses so uh, really those six lava hounds are pretty much a waste here because those defenses are out of range anyway so they're not gonna protect those lava hounds are not gonna shield the balloons and they're just gonna die quickly as you guys see uh, and also that dragon right there on the other side uh, that dragon is just gonna get funneled around because of those de because of those buildings so yeah nowhere near uh, didn't really get anything he also lost profit so many attackers lost profit they weren't able to make uh, any resource and yeah that's what's really effective about this base as you can see all the attackers no one's really making any profit here everyone is losing they're using large compositions and they're losing uh, but yeah let me share some other great raids okay this is gonna be the first best attack i've seen against this base this was from pilt overlord from metamorphosis and he's gonna use earthquake spells and this base as you can see is very weak to earthquake spells i don't have an anti-golem funnel system so here he uses earthquake spells to uh open up a straight path to the core so that was very uh good placement and he practically took advantage of that weakness of this base he's gonna use those golems four of them and a pekka uh, however he did fail to funnel one of the pekkas so one of them went up uh, but that actually allowed him to gain more percentage points for the two stars against his base So uh, now he's gonna have those golems go inside that core shielding for the queen uh, Against all of those Teslas 
So that queen is going to have a field day inside that base, taking all of those storages. So yeah, very clever attack I'd say against this base using the earthquake spell to defeat it. So yeah, another reason I'm going to change this base because I'm not expecting it to be any effective anymore once I reach to like masters. Uh, so yeah, going to change it for the next episode. Okay, here we have a Balloonian attacker using 24 Balloons, 35 Minions, and a Lava Hound. Let's see how quickly I take out all his troops. So we started at 25 seconds. Uh, he's gonna use a heal spell with those Balloons, obviously not gonna work against the Multi-Infernos. I got two Air Sweepers uh, blowing those troops. Uh, he did manage to get two storages, so that's pretty good for him. However, there we go, 25 minus 5, so in 20 seconds, I killed all his troops. Okay, here we have Sicey from Lost Chicanos attacking. He has 16 giants, 7 wizards, uh, P.E.K.K.A, healers, queen. He's gonna drop all his giants in that court. They're not gonna live for long. Very short lifespan for them. <laughs> He's gonna send out his queen, P.E.K.K.A, wizards. They're all just gonna die. He did cloak her ability, so she's gonna get a momentary lapse of security from that. However, she's just gonna die off quickly right afterwards. And, uh... He managed to get around 60,000 gold and 60,000 elixir, obviously not worth it. Okay, an attack from Buravu from Russian Dynasty. And this is going to be the first attacker to attack me from the right side of the base. He's going to spread his golems, use his wall breakers, however I have a multi-infernal there protecting that wall. He still managed to open up those two walls, spread his golems, so pretty good funneling so far. Jump spell to the core, lots of giants. Uh, wizards and his king behind them so it's looking pretty good raid spell so it was a pretty good placement of it he should use a free spell though because uh, otherwise he's gonna lose too many wizards he should have frozen the multi inferno and uh, wizard tower now he freezes the other multi inferno but most of his uh, wizards have already died and uh, basically he's not, he's not gonna make it too far but he did managed to get a lot of resource with that attack so this was a pretty good attack however he did fail to get the 50 percent so no loot bonus for him he's gonna lose trophies he did manage to get over 600,000 in total resource and 3,000 dark elixir so that this was a very good raid i'd say okay here we have sean c24 from weak sauce and he's gonna make the grave mistake of deploying all his troops straight into that core they're just gonna get fried instantly uh, just he's he's not gonna stop. He's gonna keep trying free spell, raid spell. It's not gonna work, especially since he's not dropping that poison spell. Why aren't you dropping that poison on all of those uh, clan castle? He's deploying all his troops. They're just gonna get distracted by the clan castle troops, and the giants are gonna die off from the defenses. So this was a very poor attack, and he failed to get anything. Zero gold, zero elixir, zero dark elixir. Alright guys, I'm going to break my shield again, however, as you guys can see, I'm pretty low on resource since I've defended over 120 attacks in just 24 hours. So I'm going to first do some farming here at Masters 2 so I can have enough resources to keep my defenses armed. But I will remain at around 2,800 trophies because I don't want to attack to get to Titan. I want to do it primarily through winning defenses. Also, I'm going to make a new troll base as well, so look out for that in the next episode which will be tomorrow. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. It only takes a few seconds to do so and I'll see you guys again soon. Later.